It's a number that keeps rising, new HIV infections. According to the CDC, close to 40,000 new cases every year in the U.S. A recent report showing the disease afflicting our most vulnerable, nearly 2,500 American children aged 12 and under living with HIV in 2014. The public perception of HIV is changing, but the disease itself is still here. Researcher Bridget Fisher is with the Center for Infectious Disease Research, a Seattle-based nonprofit. She wanted to find a solution after meeting kids in Kenya who were orphaned after their parents died of AIDS-related complications. Essentially, they had nowhere to go and nowhere to live. And that stuck with me because this is the face of the global epidemic. She says what's killing people is complacency. Better treatments mean people are living longer with the virus, and drug therapies can even help prevent infection. But many health experts say the only way to truly end the HIV epidemic is with a vaccine. If we could even get a vaccine that's protective in 50% of people, and if we combine that with people that are on antiretroviral medications, that that would go a long way to stem the HIV epidemic. Her team recently entered preclinical trials on a vaccine she says is promising as it covers the gamut of HIV strains. These antibodies we think are the Achilles heel for HIV research. The only slowdown for now is time. Fisher says the study will take five years and for a vaccine, it could be decades before one can hit the market. Lily Tan, King 5 News.